It be a better time. But I want to tell you that there are also times in life when life can be sweet. Marrying the love of your life can be a sweet thing. Being blessed with children can be a sweet thing. Being delivered out of trouble can be sweet. Being able to enjoy the fruits of your labor can be sweet. Being able to acknowledge and love on your family can be a sweet thing. But the truth of the matter is, is that for somebody here, you need to understand that the Christian experience, the Christian journey will have bitter times and it'll have sweet times. But the truth of the matter is, is that as long as you are on the journey for the Lord, there are going to be some good days and there are going to be some bad days. And hope you're with me this morning because for somebody here today, you're in a better place right now. But I stopped by this morning to help you understand that the same God who's with us in the good times is the same God that's with us in the bitter times. Stop by to tell somebody this morning that the same God who brought us this far will see us through. The text this morning is tailored to teach us that we find Israel coming off the climax victory of the Red Sea. They had crossed over, they had gotten through that experience where they had people trailing them on their track, but, but the Lord parted water and let them cross through on dry land. Now, I don't know about you this morning, but I've discovered and when I read this text that that had to be a hard time for the Israel people. They had to be celebrating the fact that God had done just what he said he'll do. Yeah. He led them through on dry land. He led them to a place where they had escaped their captivity and brought them through. But isn't it interesting, Israel comes through this Red Sea experience and just a few days later, they find themselves wandering in the wilderness. I'm trying to walk through the text with you this morning because it's important for you to see that Israel has come off of this of the Red Sea, and yet three days later, they find themselves complaining and murmuring and complaining and fussing at Moses because they have nothing to drink. Sounds like the church to me sometimes. You can come off a high time in the Lord, and just three days later, we're fussing and complaining. Trouble to find our end. 
address. We never take long for bitterness to show up in our life. And they start complaining and they started murmuring to Moses and Moses goes to the Lord and he makes this request be made known and the Lord again demonstrates for them that he's with them no matter what. And that may be a good word for somebody here today that's in a bitter season that, that you need to remember that no matter what lot you're in in life, a sweet lot or a bitter lot, God is with you. Somebody didn't hear me this morning. No matter where you are, no matter what mountains are in front of you, no matter what valley you're going through, God is with you. And I discovered, church, that the Bible teaches us that God will be with us all the way. And I know somebody here is having a hard time, but can I help you with three quick points and get in my seat? The first thing I want to suggest to you is that God keeps his promises. Moses goes to God 
in a posture of prayer. And he hears 